guys, welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Pam and on this episode we're going to be making an amazingly delicious egg salad, southern style egg salad sandwich. It is absolutely amazingly delicious. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. Okay, we are back. Let's go over our ingredients, but don't forget to check the description for all the exact measurements. We have our eggs here. These are hard, hard, hard <laughs> boiled eggs. Now what you want to do for that is start your eggs off in a cold pot of water. Bring it up to a rolling boil, cover it, and turn it off. As soon as it starts boiling, turn it off. Set it to the side and let them sit for about 10 minutes. Then your eggs will be perfectly boiled every single time. Now for this rep recipe, I don't know what's up, I'm getting all tongue tied today, but this recipe, we need them cold so I submerged them in some ice water while I was preparing everything. So you can do that or you can just go ahead and peel them and eat them as you like. We're gonna put some mayo, mustard, pickle relish, hot sauce, salt and pepper, a little lemon. And you know, when you're making a sandwich, sometimes the bread makes it or breaks it. So we're going to be using a nice brioche bread. I'm gonna have you guys meet me at the stove now so we can go ahead and toast this up and then we'll work on our salad. Now for toasting my bun, I like to go in with just a little bit of olive oil, pat of butter, let that start to melt down some. Then we're just going to go in and set our buns in there. We'll rotate them in a few minutes and that'll take care of our buns. Okay, they should be ready. Let's check. Good and golden brown. Okay, ooh, it's piping hot. Take this out. Okay guys, back to the counter. I'll meet you there. Okay, buns all toasted. Now we're going to cut up a scallion. Now I have a little red bell pepper already diced up because I had some left from a different dish that I was making. So I've got that already. So we're gonna just cut up this scallion. Now you can leave this out if you want, but I like color, number one, and flavor. Yeah, so this green onion is going to be amazing. You just need one, depending on how much you are going to make. I also personally happen to love, love, love onions. Um, if you don't want to put the green onion in there or the scallion in there, you can also just go ahead and use a regular onion and you can even use a red onion. Okay, you toss that in there. I'm just going to put this in here with this red bell pepper. Next, we're going to go ahead and get these eggs peeled up. Set this aside. Okay. Your eggs should be relatively easy to peel because they've sat and they've gotten into cold water. But typically, if you have real trouble peeling your eggs, it's usually because the egg itself is not fresh. So that's an indication. Doesn't mean it's not edible or anything, but let's just say it wasn't the freshest egg in the store or in the hen house. How about that? <laughs> okay. So we've got our first egg peeled. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the rest and we'll be right back. But I like color, number one, and flavor. Yeah, so this green onion is going to be amazing. You just need one depending on how much you are going to make. I also personally happen to love, love, love onions. Um, if you don't want to put the green onion in there or the scallion in there, you can also just go ahead and use a regular onion and you can even use a red onion. Okay, you toss that in there. I'm just gonna put this in here with this red bell pepper. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get these eggs peeled up. Set this aside. Okay. Your eggs should be relatively easy to peel because they've sat and they've 
gotten into cold water, but typically if you have real trouble peeling your eggs, it's usually because the egg itself is not fresh. So that's an indication. Doesn't mean it's not edible or anything, but let's just say it wasn't the freshest egg in the store or in the hen house. How about that? <laughs> okay. So we've got our first egg peeled. I'm going to go ahead and peel the rest and we'll be right back. After you have your eggs peeled, you just want to go in and chop them up. Now I like to do mine in a rough chop. You can grate them, you can chop them up really fine, but I like to have little chunks in my egg salad, so I don't want them chopped up too fine. As you mix your ingredients in, your egg is kind of going to, uh, what, mash up a little bit more, so you don't want to make it too mashed in the very beginning. Okay, we're going to add in our mayo. Add in a little mustard. I always like to give my mustard a shake because it tends to settle. A few dashes of hot sauce. Now this is optional. You can leave this out if you want, but mm, that brings out the flavor. Black pepper. Always, always, I always say, use your black pepper and your salt to your taste. Okay, next is pickle relish. When I get my pickle relish out here, I like to kind of press it up against the side of the jar to get some of that liquid out because I don't want my egg salad being liquidy. Put that in there. That should be good. You just want to go ahead and pretty much put everything in. I'm adding in my uh, scallions, my green onions, and my red bell pepper in there. And I got rid of my knife. One second, guys. Okay, I'm just all over the place today. I had some coffee, but I didn't think I had that much. And you need just about a teaspoon of lemon juice. I always like to squeeze my lemon juice through a strainer, catch those seeds. And I'm not a fan of doing it through my hands, but you can. Then we're going to just go in and give this a mix. Oh my goodness, this is smelling amazingly delicious, guys. And look at those colors in there. Look at that. I love colorful food. Y'all know me. You all know me. I love color in my food. Okay, now I'm going to give it a taste right quick to see if it has everything in it that I want and need. Let's see here. Oh. This is delicious. Mm. Oh my goodness. Amazingly delicious. And look at the color, guys. Look at that color in there. Just beautiful. So we're going to set all this other stuff aside here right quick. So we can go ahead and plate this up with our nice toasted buns. Put that there. Nice and golden, delicious. Now, I always like to go in with a little greens on the bottom. It just makes it, just makes it that much better. Then you just want to go in and put your salad right on top. All the colors in there, the smell. Mm, nothing like a fresh egg salad. And it's not a heavy dish either. It's not heavy at all. Classic, classic, classic. Mm. Oh my goodness, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me today in my kitchen. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Oh my goodness. Let's top this off. Look at that guys, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my goodness. And it's, if you've been with me long enough, you'll know I cannot bite. I still cannot bite yet. Still working on my teeth. So therefore, I'm just gonna take me a nice little taste of this because otherwise I'm gonna get a knife and fork and eat my sandwich. Yes! Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. 
this is so delicious mm. oh my goodness thank you all for hanging out with me and i will see you next time the good lord willing and the creek don't rise mm. Mm. so good so good so good <laughs>